Hi, uh, in this video we are going to learn about uh, the API list. Uh, I forgot to mention this in the previous video. So let's try to uh, look into the API list of uh, PhantomJS. So once you go to PhantomJS, click on API link and you will be able to navigate to this page where it will show the list of APIs. So the very first thing is uh, command line interface API with uh, with the help of this API we we would be able to pass uh, arguments through the terminals and the second one is a phantom object uh, we are not going to use a lot of a lot of this phantom object uh, because we already have uh, you know the command line uh, interface to be able to pass the arguments uh, outside the script or from the command line but the only object that we are going to use from phantom object is phantom.exit because physically you cannot close uh, the phantom.js browser and the very important uh, module that we are going to learn is web page module and we are going to spend quite a bit on this as we have to interact with the, the web page uh, get some of the content of the web page or uh, change the DOM of the web page and the fourth one is child process modules just in case if you are interested to interact with uh, uh, the sub uh, sub processes you can use uh, uh, child process module and coming to the file system module if you want to uh, interact with a particular file if that is if you want to make it uh, readable writable if you want to get the path of the file and all uh, and just in case if you have worked with node.js you should be familiar with this and the uh, last but one is the system module and with the help of uh, this system module whatever the parameters that we have passed uh, uh, through our command prompt we would be able to use that uh, in our program and the last but uh, uh, last one is the web server module this is an experimentation right now it's under experimentation so you can use it uh, on your own risk um, that's it for this video i just wanted to create a quick video because i forgot uh, to mention this api in the previous video as usual if you have any questions uh, please feel free to leave that in the comment section any questions are most welcome and if you have any feedback uh, is also very welcome thanks for watching again